and welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today, we are going to whip up cream of anything soup. You can make all of your creamy soups from this one base, which is wonderful, and we are saving a ton of money by making this recipe. So in this economy, we have to be careful of all the stuff that we buy. And I have been looking for different alternatives to things that we normally buy at the store that I can make at home and save money. And I know all of you are have it really tight right now as well. This economy is just ridiculous. It's horrible. And we have to budget and do everything as frugally as possible in order to make ends meet. And then sometimes it's still really, really difficult. So one of the things that we have stopped buying completely is the cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of broccoli, all those cream of soups. And we are, I found this recipe online and I have been tweaking different recipes to get to the one that works for our family. So this recipe that I'm going to share with you today is what works for us, but you can definitely tweak this to however you want to do it. So we're just going to use a few simple ingredients. We're going to use some powdered milk, some cornstarch, or you can use arrowroot in place of that, whichever one you have on hand, um, chicken bouillon, and a couple of spices, some minced onion, basil, and thyme. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is another really super simple and easy recipe. Um, I tried a whole bunch of these recipes and some of them were not my favorite. This one really works for us. I tweaked the seasoning a little bit, but um, you can definitely tweak this any way you want. Uh, your base is um, your powdered milk and cornstarch and your chicken bouillon but then your spices you can mix them up to anything that your family likes any way you like them and then once you get this base together it is so versatile and you can do tons of different soups with it which is great so I'm going to start with four cups of powdered milk and we're going to boil this when we make it so it can be just regular powdered milk instant milk it really doesn't matter. And the only difference with your instant milk and your powdered milk is your instant milk, you don't have to use hot water for it. You can just um, put cold water in it and it's ready to go. But the powdered milk, a lot of the powdered milks at the store, you have to put it in hot water and it takes a while to dissolve. And that's the only difference in it. Um, and I, I say go with whatever one you like the taste of. So just four cups of your powdered milk. Get that right in there. And then we're going to do one and a half cups of cornstarch. This makes a really big batch. I'm doing this in a half gallon jar because then I can just take what I need out each time. If I want to make one can worth or two cans worth, however you want to do it really so we're gonna do and you can use arrowroot powder in this but or cornstarch either one it gives you the same thickening effect and about half cup more so one and a half cups of cornstarch and then we're going to do a half cup of our chicken bouillon. Again, use any bouillon you like. Um, use your favorite. That's what I say because it always tastes better to you when you have your favorite stuff in there. No sense using stuff you don't like just because someone else likes it. So just a half cup of chicken bouillon in there. And this is where I tweaked it for my family. We love onions and I think they should be in everything. So um, the original recipe called for two tablespoons, but I'm gonna put about four tablespoons in because that's about what's in there. We're just gonna put them all right in there of minced onions because I just love those in my cream of soups. And then we are going to go with 
one teaspoon or two teaspoons sorry two teaspoons of basil we want to put that right in there and this is going to have a nice flavor so yummy and then two teaspoons of thyme we're going to get that in there delicious i love thyme mm -mm. and then we're going to add about one teaspoon of black pepper to this and I'm not going to add any salt to it because we've got that salty chicken bouillon in there. And that is it. That is how I have been making this. And we are really, really loving this recipe. It is so simple and easy. And then I'm just going to put my cover on. And we're going to mix this up. And you can do this in a bowl and mix it and then put it in a jar it doesn't quite fill this half gallon jar but oh my it is so good and it's so easy to make we'll we'll whip a little bit up and show you how to do it it's super simple and easy so to make this it is super simple and easy it only takes a few minutes I'm gonna put my burner on a medium high I'm gonna add one cup of water and this is going to be, be equivalent to one of the small cans you get at the store. And so you will know how much you need for a recipe. If you normally do two cans, you could double this. Um, so one cup of water and one third cup of our cream of soup mix. And I'm going to do cream of broccoli today because that is what I feel like. But you can do your cream of mushroom, cream of broccoli, celery, shredded uh, cheddar cheese, chicken, diced tomatoes. You can literally put anything you want in this. We're just going to add one half cup of whatever we want to turn this into. So this is going to be cream of broccoli and I'm just going to add a half cup. I've got freeze dried broccoli here. You can use fresh dried uh, freeze-dried, dehydrated, whatever you have really. Just toss it right in. If you're using this in a recipe, you don't necessarily have to put it in here. You can add it to your recipe. But um, And we're just going to whisk this up. We want to make sure this is blended really well. And we're just going to whisky whisk and bring it right up to a boil. And this is going to get nice and thick because of that cornstarch or arrowroot powder, whichever you used. So we just want to make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom. Some of that cornstarch likes to stick. You want to make sure you get that all blended in really well while this is heating up. And I think a whisk works the best for this. You could definitely use a spoon, but I think the whisk does a little bit better of a job. So there's not really any clumps in there. So we're just going to bring this up to a boil. Okay, so you can see once this gets to a boil, it is nice and thick. Yummy! So we're just going to take this right off the heat and it's ready to go. So you can easily whip up your cream of something, anything really, cream of anything soup, but you can mix this up in minutes, which doesn't take any time at all. And then when you need it, all you have to do is bring it to a boil and you can see once you get to a boil, it has a nice, really thick, creamy consistency. And we just love this. It is great to add to those casseroles, your crock pot meals, or even just a nice hot bowl of cream broccoli soup because I love that. And it is super simple and easy. You know what's in it, so you don't have to worry about all kinds of weird ingredients like the stuff you buy at the store. And it is so affordable. It really saves a ton of money. And we have stopped buying a lot of products that we can make ourselves. We are just trying to save money so we can make ends meet like everybody else. And this is a winner at our house. Oh, I am so happy about this recipe. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.